This is a famous Dr. Ulrey that is a genius and writes all the advanced literature that we all love to study. He came four hours to get his back adjusted because nobody can fix his back between here and four hours. You crushed the old hockey player, you. Everything working good now? You got it. We're sending him back home in one place. He's going to get back on the ice probably next week. And it was a long drive, but it was worth it. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for the advice. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dr. Richard Olry. I'm from Hillman, Michigan. Dr. Tantz has asked me to discuss with you some of the effects of a common weed killer called Roundup. I ask people, what do you think Roundup is? And they say, what's well, a poison? I go, yes, it is. How does it work? It kills everything. And I go, that's pretty much right. I go, do you understand how it works? And they go, well, no. And I said, would you understand this if I said this is an antibiotic? And people, they, an antibiotic, what are you talking about? This is a weed killer. And then I explained to them that Roundup was actually sprayed on the fields to kill the bacteria that plants use to absorb minerals. Now, would you purposely put an antibiotic in your system every day with every meal? Well, this is what has been invited into our lives unintentionally with the use of this petrochemical that's applied to the fields. Now, I tell my patients, you either eat organic or you panic because you don't know if that field has been sprayed with Roundup. Just because the food is not genetically modified doesn't mean that the weed killer is not used on most conventional foods. Go to the internet and then start seeking out what foods contain Roundup. As an antibiotic on the fields, killing the bacteria for the purpose of killing off weeds makes the plants we eat 40 to 50 percent less nutritious in terms of minerals, and minerals run the show. The first book I produced, Minerals for the Genetic Code, the second one, Minerals for Tumor Suppression, my third book, Minerals for Acupuncture Meridian. There's more books, but everything is minerals, minerals, minerals. So at the convenience of a farmer, they'll spray an entire field on a Monday so the whole field matures by Friday. Where does the Roundup go that's sprayed out the fields? Into the seeds we eat. So if you eat oatmeal or the various types of breads, there's a darn good chance that it's full of Roundup. Now, if that Roundup is in your food and it gets into your system, it still acts like an antibiotic. It's generally recognized that 80% of your immune system is found in the bacteria of your gut. And if you apply Roundup to your gut, you will kill off the bacteria needed to absorb the proper nutrition from our food. And if you start killing off species of bacteria, you will go into starvation into the presence of the foods you eat. So be wary of the word Roundup. I personally view this as a genocidal herbicide because it's found everywhere. It's estimated by Dr. Don Huber that 85% of the water in the United States is now laced with Roundup. The makers of Roundup currently have 11,800 lawsuits against them for various complaints of stuff like cancer. It's not a good mineral to have in your life or around you. The makers of Roundup will tell you the half-life is very short. In reality, the half-life of Roundup is 22 years, meaning if you put it in your garden by mistake, you have to wait about 40 years before all the Roundup disappears because it is a continuous active ingredient and nobody wants to eat demineralized food with Roundup. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Randy, for having me.